All right, so this computer is going to be a quick video. I'm most likely this computer, I think I know what it is, it's just a hard drive issue. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. I haven't turned it on yet, but what happened is the guy was using it fine. One day he just said no operating system found. And I know this hard drive has never been replaced. This is like a eight-year-old computer, so. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. That's crazy. So it's it's posting though. It's just uh. It's just... Alright, so if you look inside this computer, it's not that dusty, um, it's it's okay, I know, I, I kind of actually did a cleanup on it a while ago, but this hard drive, man, this is like the first, like, SATA hard drive, these things are old, so, so I'm pretty sure it's the hard drive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in another computer, and just test it, I'll do a scan on it, and we'll check on there. Alright, so we're going to take out the hard drive, but in this case, we actually have to take the CPU out, um, because when I actually pull out the hard drive, it gets stuck there, so we have to take out this. Which is okay, I guess, because you know, we can get a chance to re thermal paste it, you know. So I guess it'll be alright. Alright, so it's pretty dried up in here. Once we return one piece, I think it'll be good. I don't know when's the last time this was return one piece. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this hard drive in here and see if my computer detects it in this room. So for me personally, I don't get so uh, in depth with hard drives, so I won't be able to recover anything. But here, I'll, I'll turn it on so you can hear it. The hard drive is 100%. Like it's gone. The disk slips or something in there, but so. Yeah, the hard drive is dead. Once you replace the hard drive, the computer will be good as new. Okay, so now we're just gonna uh, clean up this thermal paste here. Uh, so it's better if you do take out the CPU. I find it's easier to do the cleanup. There's a lot on here though, wow. Careful with the, with the pins here. I'm just gonna use the paper towel to clear it up. nice and fresh so what you're going to do is line it up with the so just let me just take it here so the two dips in here one in here one in here just line it up with the dips right here and you should be good to go make sure you get the nice clip there you go and don't forget to clean this one as well, the, the heat sink. And then I just apply a little bit on the CPU of the thermal paste. I'm just going to use the Arctic MX4, it's just a cheap little uh, thermal paste. That will do the job for this. That looks messy. Everybody applies different, but it'll, it'll, it'll spread. <laughs> Before you can put the heat stick back on, you gotta put it in the hard drive. So we'll do that right now. We put it the way it came out, so this plugs in here, so line it up with the screw holes.
I usually don't tighten only one screw first. I just tighten them all a little bit, just so they're all going in. And then now, once they're all in, then we just screw them all to, you know, you don't want to over tighten it, but like, you, you will feel it. Like. Okay, now that it's all back together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on, try to boot it off this USB here, it's just Windows 7, and then uh, see if it posts here. It takes a little bit to load up, but it should be okay. okay if we boot off USB. Okay. Uh, that's Hmm, just not displaying it. It's not detecting the USB here. So in here, I'm just going to quickly change it. So look, it's just here. So I just wanted the BIOS here. So all I have to do is, so it wasn't booting off the USB because it's excluded from boot order. So right here, just follow this here, it just says X excludes and includes device. So I'm just gonna include it, so if I push X, you see right there, it popped up, and then now it's, it's at least it's in there now, right? So now we're gonna go F10, save, and then now it should be no problem to boot off the USB. Aha, perfect, there it is. But you can hear there's no more noise going in in here anymore. It's really nice and quiet. Very nice, quiet computer. There you go. It's booting up to Windows. That's it. That's all it was. Just a hard drive repair. Well, replacement. <laughs>